I was sent another mini PC from Ace Magic to do a review on. This is one of their newer ones. It's really, really cool, and I'm super excited about getting this thing open and showing you what it's all about. We'll see you here in a second. All right, let's get this box opened and see what we've got in here. This is the mini PC, model number S1, black, 16 gigabyte RAM, 512 gigabyte hard drive, uh, US version. Very nice boxing. I mean, just a, a really good solid box that this uh, little mini PC comes in. So let's go ahead and slide this off and see what's under here. Very nice. A little felt piece on the top there. A little hood that pops up. And then inside the box, we've got, well, the, the PC. We've got a, a manual. Kind of a heavy piece of uh, material here that goes on the bottom. And then the power supply. A standard HDMI cable. Let's uh, go over this in detail here. Let's take a closer look at the PC and let's get it out of this wrapper. So on this side, we've got the DC power, two HDMI ports, two gigabit uh, ethernet uh, connections, and then auxiliary and then a little lock. On the other side here, We've got the power button and then four USB uh, ports. Then I believe there is another display on the front. Very, very cool. Can't wait to get this fired up and uh, see exactly what it's all about. It looks like the base has a little bit of a magnetic. Uh, base to it. Very, very cool. Allows you to stand it up wherever you need to uh, set it up. Or, well, I guess it could lay down if you uh, choose to put it on the table like that. But that's a really nice feature. Now on this side here, where it says open, I was originally thinking this was a display, but what it is, is a cover with a little bit of see-through glass on it. So it looks like you can see inside here. That's very interesting. And we're gonna go over that and get, you know, show it in detail of what it's all about. But what's really cool about this cover, there's no need to unclip anything. It's got magnets on it. And the magnets just kind of hold it down like that. So this is by Ace Magic S1, 16 gigabyte RAM, 512 gigabyte uh, hard drive, solid state. And this is the Alder Lake N95 12th generation. SSD M2 2280 512GB. And then there's another slot over here for another one. 16GB RAM. A DDR4 2666Hz. The first slot accepts the SATA SSD. And the other slot uses the PCIe SATA adaptive a max 2TB. So ultimately that's all there is to see under the hood. And the cover can only fit on one way. So it has to be turned the other way. And then the magnets work like they're supposed to. Let's go ahead and get this all hooked up. I'm gonna hook it up to the big screen in front of us here and take this thing for a test spin. We're gonna boot it up, go through the updates and just get to the login screen and then we'll go over all the information. I've got it all set up, keyboard and mouse plugged in, HDMI feed from this TV plugged into it and of course the power. I'm getting ready to go through and go through the boot up process, but let me show you the little PC. It's down there on that little box. So we're gonna come back up to the TV and then we're just gonna go through these settings and we're just gonna get through them real quick and then we'll come back when I have something for you to see. We'll see you here in a second. I've gotta get it connected to my Wi-Fi. go get all the updates. The updates are finishing, they're downloading now but I wanted to show you the LCD screen on this little PC. So right now I'm waiting on these updates and it's working. Uh, the CPU temperature is at 
57C or 59C. It looks like it's bouncing back and forth. The fan speed is up to 1900. The CPU level's at 5700. It's really getting worked hard right now. And then the, the mem level or the memory level is at 34%. And right now the little PC is using five to seven watts of energy. Really, really cool feature. Let's go ahead and log into this. All of our updates are done. I installed a couple little programs on here. Uh, one is OpenOffice, and then here's all the, the basic details uh, of this little PC. OpenOffice works very well on these mini PCs. Word processing to you know spreadsheets to presentations can all be done with a piece of software like this here. Let's go over some of the basic stuff. Let's look at the system. You know, right off the bat, well, we've got Windows 11 Pro. I mean, just awesome. Uh, your Intel N95, 1700 megahertz, four cores, four logic processors. This is the 12th generation N95. I mean, it's a really nice little processor. Basically, everything that's in the task manager, uh, CPU, memory, disk, Wi-Fi, GPU, all that is showing up right here on this little display. It's pretty awesome. I really like that little display. I did install a little game on here. There it is, 1942. Now this was just a little free game I downloaded from the Microsoft Store. I don't have a clue about this game, but let's take it for a run. Okay, it looks like we're in Paris. There we go. Oh gosh, oh my. I don't have a clue what to do. Oh, I just did something. All right, let's go around the corner here. Now I am using a keyboard and a mouse. I'm not very good at this game. I've never seen it before, but let's go give it a shot. Oh, I guess there's a bad guy. Oh, I guess I'm late. The graphics card's doing really good. There's not a lot of hesitation. Now granted, this is not a gaming PC, but you can play games with it. It's doing pretty good. And that's been my experience with these smaller processors. They just do really well. Well, yeah, and I'm horrible. All right, I'm back. And he's probably laughing at me. <laughs> yep, and I didn't make it. Back to the basics. So this is the uh, 12th generation Alder Lake N95 processor. Uh, the Intel UHD graphics card, 16 gigabyte DDR RAM, 512 M2 NVM SSD. This system has two M2 slots. One accepts SATA SSD and the other PCIe SATA adaptive. Max two terabyte. It does not have a, a two and a half inch bay for uh, another SSD, but I think it makes up for it in the, uh, the M2 slot. 2.4 and 5G dual band Wi-Fi 5. Dual LAN ports, which is very awesome, especially for some of the projects that I do around here. And then of course, Bluetooth 4.2. If you want more specs, all the specs are there on the website. Let's go to Hawaii. So this little mini PC on this big screen TV looks really, really good. So there you go. Perfect for surfing the web, watching YouTube videos, homework. I mean, this is just a, an overall good PC, a mini PC that can be easily put in a briefcase, a backpack, I mean, in a drawer <laughs> and, and be able to use it when you need it. So overall, this has been a really, really nice uh, PC. It's done really good. There's a couple more things I want to go over, and that is the two uh, little utilities that come with this little mini PC. And that is the one that controls this little LED right here, and then the one that controls this little display. Uh, let's start with the LED there. It's pretty straightforward. Click on the LED control, and then you're, you're able to turn it on and off. You can set it on auto. You can change it to a rainbow. I mean, there's all kinds of different functions that you can change. Color cycle, the brightness, and all these controls that come with it. The other thing, which is kind of tricky, which is the CYX, which is right here. When you double click on it, 
it's like nothing happens. Or if you right click on it and open, well, nothing happens, but it does. It drops it down here in the tray. So you can see it right down here, CYX. So you click on it and it brings it up. This display is fully customizable. You can change it, customize it any way that you want. For simplicity here, I'm just gonna switch between the two that's already made. All right, so we're gonna go to that one and watch the screen up here. Boom, there you go. You just changed it to that. Very, very cool. Now, all the features that are on here can be customized. Click on Customize, and then you can add or subtract all these different features. Then you can move them around. You can grab and move it to here if you want to, or move this one up here if you want to, and then hit OK. And it's going to throw it up there. Well, of course, I don't like this one. <laughs> I'll have to work on it a little bit more. So let's go back to the defaults. I absolutely love this one here. This is perfect. There you go. It's very, very, very cool. You can customize this with any kind of photo, uh, and you can move and, and mix and match uh, in any way that you want it. Now, if you wanted to lay it down for landscape, uh, or vertical or horizontal, I mean, it all depends on how you want to design that screen. All right, I gotta be honest with you. This is one of my favorite mini PCs. Anybody that spends the amount of time they did on just the packaging of this little mini PC, but not only that, the quality of this little mini, the engineering behind this little mini, and all the, the customizable features. Very impressed with this little mini. It is the 12th generation N95. So it's pretty fast. It's an excellent solution without breaking the bank, to be able to do everything you need. Play a few games, documents, word processing, videos, that kind of stuff. Easy to put away. You can put it away in a box. You can put it away in a drawer. You can put it in your backpack. Really, really cool. Hope that helps, and we'll talk to you in the next one.